Good morning. How you doing today? It is Tuesday morning and it is just going to be an amazing day today. It's supposed to be like 85 today and tomorrow. It's awesome. I love the hot weather. Anyways, um, so I thought I'd do a what I eat in a day video because I really enjoy making those. And um, I had some really, really epic eating uh, days on Friday and Saturday and I had done my grocery haul and I said, ah, oh, I should have done a filmed a what I eat in a day video too because I was eating so many, I just made some like really cool stuff. So anyways, hopefully I get creative today and show you some guys something a little different. But um, anyways, yesterday was Monday and usually I do my uh, 24 hour water fast starting Sunday after I finished dinner and then all the way through Monday and then uh, break it at dinner time then. Uh, well, we started really early on Sunday, like about five o'clock, and um, I actually broke my fast at 11 a.m. yesterday. Um, so I went about 18 hours or so, which was pretty good. I didn't bother filming it because I broke it so early. Well, I mean, really, I went a good bit, but uh, it just seemed like it was, you know, not much to film. But uh, yeah, I decided to break it. I don't know. I got that, it's that time of month and I think my hormones were just kind of all over the place and I just felt, just didn't feel it. So I just, uh, I broke it with some uh, oatmeal and, uh, and then I decided to, uh, I went over to my mom to bring her some ginger juice and she had made her famous, Meringues. I call them Mama's meringues. They're just really, really good. It's a very simple recipe. She makes them with egg whites, you know, traditional meringues. And um, she made them for the holidays, and she makes them ahead of time and freezes them. And she wanted me to try them, <clears throat> see how they came out. I was like, oh, man. You know, it got me thinking about this aquafaba thing I keep on seeing where it kind of whips up and looks like meringue, and everybody uses it kind of like meringue or whipped cream. And I thought, oh, I wonder if I could make a little version and so that's the video you could check out that I made yesterday experimenting with it for the first time I had never used it before and I have to say I mean it it's pretty badass as far as appearance and how it whips up I mean it really 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 looks impressive but I have to say the taste I'm not on board yet with so I don't know um, it's gonna take a lot a lot of sugar <laughs> to really make that taste like a, like a really sweet, nice dessert. Um, so, I don't know, maybe I'll play around with it. I don't know, I'm actually thinking it might work out better as something in a savory, although I cooked it and it, and it well, I won't spoil it. Um, you'll have to watch the video. <laughs> but um, it was, it's really neat listening to everybody's, reading everybody's comments, those that have tried it and some advice and stuff like that. So, leave me a comment if you made it before. Let me know what your experience has been, and if you've had success with it, let me know what you did. So I love to hear from you. Um, all right, so on to the vid on what I eat in a day video. Sorry guys, got a little sidetracked here. But I'm uh, gonna have my coffee, gonna put my hair up in a ponytail, and I'm gonna go uh, hit the gym. I think I'm gonna do some biking, and, uh, and then I'll catch you in the kitchen, all right? So, catch you then. All right, back from the gym, it was a nice workout. And I'm going to be making the juice, so I got a knob of ginger here. Where am I? Can't look through the camera and <laughs> point at the same time. Knob of ginger, got a nice uh, grapefruit, some beets, lemon, celery, and kale. Stems from the kale. It was a big, huge bunch of kale if you saw my grocery haul. And um, so I've got that for today, and I've got stems for tomorrow, too, before I even have to dip into the kale leaves. Um, all right, so I'm going to juice this up, and uh, let's see how it comes out. Look at this baby. I tell you guys, I'm going to give it a try. I know it's going to be good because I've been making this combination for, for a little bit now. Very, very good. If you're new to juicing or you just want to start juicing a little bit every day, you want a really good combination? Just look back at that picture and um, and and do this because it's really really good. It's very refreshing. 
Um, it yields a good amount of juice. It's a very inexpensive juice. And um, yeah, I just wanted to mention too, because sometimes I get um, a question like, why would you juice? Why wouldn't you just, um, I guess, make a smoothie and uh, just eat the whole food? And sometimes I get people that get confused about a juice and a smoothie. So when you juice, when you put it through a juicer like this, it has no fiber in it. It just takes all the the juice out of it, the nutrients, and just and the fiber just comes out. And when you make a smoothie and if you're using whole fruits, then obviously you're eating the whole food, so you're getting the fiber intact. Um, why would you do one or the other? Well, honestly, if you're eating a really good uh, variety of foods throughout the day, uh, you don't have to juice. Um, I like to juice, and I like to make it the first thing that I put in my body because it's already pre-digested and um, within like 15 minutes my body's kind of already absorbing all those vitamins and minerals and you know I have a hard time eating a whole lemon or a knob of ginger or eating a beet every single day or just that much celery so it's really a great way to get a concentrated amount of nutrients in your body really quickly and really effortlessly and it tastes delicious so um, and if you're using a lot of vegetables and with just maybe a small amount of fruit, it's not really many, much calories in here. You're not drinking a lot of sugar and a lot of, a lot of calories. Um, so to me personally, I just like it. I think I feel really good from it. I can notice a difference. I feel like it helps to flush and loosen up everything in your body. And um, it's just like a powerhouse drink. So definitely not necessary and it can get expensive. That's why... Uh, we're juicing just a small amount each day just to be consistent with it because that's what's key and uh, you know every day I'm getting some lemon in every day I'm getting some ginger in every day I'm getting you know some kind of um, juice in or celery or whatever I choose to use cucumber and I do need to get some turmeric because I do want to get turmeric in every day as well so anyways that's just my little spiel on the juicing I'm gonna drink this and then it's a lovely day so I am going to walk down and bring Jen her juice. I know she'll like that. And I'm off. Walking to Jen's job. I'm gonna bring her uh, this juice. About a half mile, half mile walk uh, there and a half mile walk back. So really, really easy. It's beautiful outside. Loving it. Gonna make myself something to eat when I get back. Just watering the, uh, the garden here. Just thought I'd show you what it is that I have. Look at that. I just planted these things not too long ago. This is some kale. It is so good. I'm just kind of munching on some. Oh, baby kale. I got some um, beets. These are the beet greens. And actually, um, you can just cut the greens off and uh, they'll just keep on growing. So I'll probably do that. Just eat a bunch of beet greens before I pluck the whole thing with the beet. And then I've got some cilantro. And this didn't take off very well. They took off really well my, um, last year when I grew them, green onions. But somehow I think the squirrels got into it and started digging and tore it up. So I gotta replant some. And here is some uh, rainbow chard that I have from last year that's still growing. I just snip at it and keep on, and it keeps on growing back. Um, I've got like so much more to plant. I gotta really do that this weekend. So here's what I got so far. Jen made these little planter boxes for me. Isn't that cute? Out of uh, wood from our old desk that we tore apart in the other house. So, yeah, I got to make some more and I got a bunch of like little pots too. So, anyways, thought I'd just share that with you. All right, sitting down, I'm going to enjoy this absolutely beautiful and delicious mango before I head out for a couple of errands here. Oh my goodness. Next grocery haul. Expect to see quite a few of these guys. Love, love mangoes. So good. Just roasted up a little butternut squash, peppers, and onions. And I got that cool, and that's gonna be uh, something I'm gonna do with, have for uh, lunch. Gonna make something with that real soon. Things I've picked up since uh, the last grocery haul, I'll tell you guys I needed to get some bananas. And um, they had oranges and grapefruits on sale as well, but they were out. Um, so I picked this up actually. I got the bananas over the weekend. So I just let them get nice and ripe, kind of eating as we go. And then uh, I bought some oranges, two bags of oranges and a grapefruit. And we've almost polished off the oranges. So I just went and bought three more bags. 
on sale two dollars for three pounds and they are just epic i mean they are so delicious it's unbelievable so we've been just and really really enjoying them so i grabbed three more bags and now i am going to make some lunch lunch time so i'm going to put together a really really awesome salad here be using up some leftovers too um i got it down low so you can see what i'm doing but anyways, I've got these uh, vegetables that I just roasted up. It's uh, a little bit of butternut squash, peppers and onions. I just threw it in 500 degrees and just checked on it like every 10 minutes. And they just turn out like candy. I mean, they're just so, so good. So I had have, I have that chilling in the fridge. And uh, I'm going to mix it up with, um, I've got some leftover quinoa. Uh, give the girls... Uh, quinoa and uh, green beans last night and I got some leftovers so I'm doing like a like a nice quinoa salad kind of on the sweeter side so I'm gonna throw in the um, the leftover quinoa it's gonna be enough for today and tomorrow I've got some leftover green beans I'm gonna give these guys a little quick choppy Make it more bite size. And throw that in there. Alright. Thought maybe a little raisins. Throw in a couple organic raisins in here. Banana squash, raisins. Mmm. Some apple would be good too, but I'm out of apple. Um, get some raisins in there. Thought I'd add a few little chickpeas. Let's throw those in there. And then for a little fresh note, I've got some uh, spinach left. Look at that spinach. We've been devouring this spinach. It's almost gone. Kids like it, and it's nice for something different. I've been doing a bunch of salad wraps for, uh, for lunch last few days for Jen and I. So I'm going to take some spinach and I'm just going to, again, just kind of rough chop it. Add a nice little bit of color and freshness to the salad. Let's do one more. A little bit. And let's think about possibly putting some pecans in there. Because uh, I do have some left. Let me grab a spoon. I'm not sure yet if I want to put them in because dinner, I have got some cashews soaking. I have a few left from when I made that pecan pie. Um, and I've got some soaking. I was thinking for dinner, I was going to do a little uh, pasta with Alfredo sauce. How good does that sound? Hello? I have no idea. I'm just going to wing it, making it, but uh, it's stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, so I gotta hit the store because when I told Jen that, she's like, can you get some mushrooms? Can we have some mushrooms with that? So, I have to go get some mushrooms after this. So, let me just uh, mix this up. I think I should have probably got in a bigger bowl. Look at that salad. Doesn't it look awesome? That colors, so much flavor, textures. Very, very healthy. Yummy. It's gonna be like a little sweet, a little savory. So, I'll probably season this baby up with just like a little bit of black pepper. Um, might even put a like a little turmeric, give it a nice little yellow hue to it. And um, I'm thinking to dress it. I think I'm going to put like a little bit of fresh lemon juice and maybe just a hint of maple syrup and maybe some cayenne. Doesn't that sound good? So, anyways, let me finish mixing this up and then... Uh, I'll tell you what, exactly what I did with it. I do a little taste test. Okay. I just tasted it real quick. I'm not going to add anything to it. It's just really, really good on its own. Nice sweetness from the butternut squash and the raisins. A little bit of saltiness from the, um, the chickpeas. It's really, really good. So I'm just going to leave it alone. Could dress it if you want, but... Look at that. Yummy. So, actually, before I eat this, I was kind of in the mood to take a little run. It's just so nice out, and when the weather's nice, I just, I don't know, my body's just like, rah, I just have so much energy. 
So I think I'm gonna go for like a little jog, come back, eat this, and then um, yeah, walk to the grocery store, get some mushrooms, and um, I don't know, let's we'll see what else. I got a crap load of bags of leaves. I got a bag. In the yard I was out all day raking. And I don't know where all these leaves came from, but holy moly, trash gets picked up tomorrow. I've got like 20 bags, seriously, that I need to do. Um, i got a million piles. So anyways, let me get going here. And maybe one more bite. I'm going to go for a little jog. It's terrible, guys. I went in the freezer. And look, I'm having a little piece of this pecan pie bar. Look how pretty it cuts when it's frozen. It cuts beautifully because there's so much sugar in it, like natural sugar that you could just cut a perfect piece. And look at that baby. So I'm just having a little tiny bit. And I guess if I have to, um, I'm gonna cut a little piece. I'm gonna show you how pretty it cuts. If I gotta make a little bit more for my mom, I guess I will. I just can't help myself. I have a sweet tooth. Anybody else have a huge sweet tooth? At least this is healthy sweets. Let's see, it's hard to do it one-handed, guys. There we go. It is frozen, but see? Look at that. See how nice that is? Doesn't that look awesome? It tastes awesome too. You guys have to check out the video and make it. So I'm gonna have this little piece here. I'm gonna put this back in the freezer and hopefully it lasts. <laughs> I'll be making it again. I'm getting a couple things uh, prepped up here for dinner. As I mentioned earlier, I'm making a pasta alfredo and so to make the sauce here I've got one and a half cups of almond milk and I'm gonna add in I've got my cashews I'd say roughly I started with them around a half a cup these are soaked already so they've kind of expanded um, that's all I had on hand so I got about half a cup of soaked cashews quarter cup of nutritional yeast I'm gonna add in um, a good pinch of salt I'm going to the seasoning to coat all the pasta and some pepper. I'm just right in the Vitamix blender here. And I'm just going to whiz this up until it's smooth. Give it a taste, see if it needs uh, anything. Let's see. It should blend up nice and uh, creamy since the cashews been so crank it up. up I just gave it a taste the, the taste is spot on it's a little thin you see that it's like I don't know how would you describe that maybe the consistency of like half and half I mean it's 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 thicker of course than the almond milk that I started with but it's still not like thick thick like you think of like the, the alfredo sauce that's in those jars and that you make from scratch because usually that's made with um flour, like butter and flour, you make a little roux and then you whisk in your, your milk or your cream. Mm. But the flavor is very good. The nutritional yeast gives it that cheesy flavor. The cashews give it that velvety, rich, kind of fatty um, flavor and texture that, uh, that you want in kind of an Alfredo sauce, a cream type sauce. Um, very, very good. So I'm going to keep it as is here. And I'm going to pour it over the pasta, and I'm thinking if I use a little bit of the starchy water from the pasta and just, like, kind of let it cook down a little bit, I'll probably cook the pasta maybe a minute or two less and let the sauce kind of reduce down with that pasta. Um, I think it's going to thicken up just perfectly. So that's my Alfredo sauce. Simple, and uh, it tastes really, really good. You can even, too. I'm not doing it cause for the kids, but I'll sometimes saute some mushrooms and onions. And I'll blend that in, and it just... It's really, really good, guys. Really, really good. Good on vegetables and everything, too. Dinner time. So check out this baby. Doesn't that look good? I made the sauce. It totally thickened up. And um, I have sautéed onions, mushrooms. Mackenzie's having hers without the veggies, though. They had a plate of raw vegetables. Oh, yeah. Is it good, babe? And, um, yeah, peppers, onions, mushrooms, peas, spinach. Um, really tasty. Let's give it a little... 
A little taste here. Very creamy. It's good. It's good? She's going to like it. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Really, really good. Coke. So I'm going to sit with the girls. I told you she would like it. Mm-hmm. And, um, <laughs> I remember always eat happy foods. Thanks so much for following me along today. Ciao. And, um, Bye. remember to, um, <laughs> subscribe to this channel if you haven't Bye. already. And, Give the video a thumbs up if you like videos like this. What else? Uh, come join me on uh, Instagram and Facebook. I'm going to leave the links Always down below. Always eat happy foods. Always eat happy foods. So, yum. Ciao. I will catch you again tomorrow. Ciao. Ciao.